Hello everyone, this is Josh Nankivel from pmstudent.com and I got a question today about my PMP experience verification worksheet that I put together and I have um, out here on my blog on pmstudent.com. So I wanted to just quickly go through uh, an example and walk through the spreadsheet really quick to help out a little bit and I'll go back and put this as an embedded video in this post here. Alright so starting from the left I've got just the employer name um, an ID and the ID number is just whatever identifier you have. When I worked for a company called well most of you probably know about Citibank um, when I worked there we had an internal uh, system where we kept track of uh, our, pro our small projects um, this way. So I, I actually put that identifier in there while I was working at Citibank and, and filled this out as I went. And for when I worked for these other companies I just did a one, two, three, four type of thing so we didn't have uh, anything that formal. So for the project name um, I tried to put a fairly descriptive name for the different projects that I was involved with. Um, moving over to the right here um, okay, so moving over to the right here, the start and end dates of that project. So when did it start and when did it end? And then the uh, the months here. I just want to go through and show you. So this these are inputs right here, and then um, this one is actually calculated. So actually, numbers in blue are inputs. So this should actually be black I think. So I may need to go change that in my template. Um, and so the hours that come out of this are really just a it's taking the time from start and end and saying this is the gross, this is the number of hours between those dates and it's uh, estimating that based on 4.33 weeks uh, or 45 hours a week. And um, that's, that's what I used because that, that's Pretty much my normal work week during that time was 45 hours. So uh, you could go in and change the formulas. It'd be really easy to do that. You just change the the. Uh, I'll go ahead and resize this so I can fit it all in here. If you just you know change the the formula here from a 45 to a 40, then you'll get that calculated off of 40 hours. All right. So moving on. Um, the factor means how much of your time was spent on this project during that time. So here you can see that I was 100% allocated. So all the time between this time and this time, all of my time was 100% dedicated to that project. So the hours come out the same. And here a quarter of my time was allocated to this particular project. And here, you know, 75% of my time was allocated to this project. And you can see there's some overlap too. This project started uh, June 1st and this one started uh, September 1st. They both ended the same time so I was working on both of these simultaneously during the month of September. And that's okay as long as you, you, know, you don't have yourself overbooked. I mean this needs to reflect reality. I suggest if you can to just be doing this as you go because that's going to be the the best way to make sure that it's completely accurate. Alright, so now on the distributions, I took uh, between the, the, the five um, process groups for PMI for in the PMBOK, the initiate, plan, execute, control, and close, um, what percentage of my time was spent on these different things. And you can see that during the time that I was at this particular company, um, it was pretty regular and this is an estimate this is not something that uh, that I know 100% sure but I'm reasonably sure that this is pretty accurate so about 65% of my time was spent at, at that time on execution 20% um, on planning and 5% on the other three areas you'll notice that um, as as I went kind of progressed through my career uh, and got some more experience I tended to actually plan quite a bit more, uh, doing a lot more planning and spending less time on the execution. Uh, part of that was because 
uh, as I progressed, I had more and more of a strict project management role on the projects, whereas before I was the lead developer on a lot of these projects as well. So uh, towards the end there, there was there was more projects where I was strictly a project manager. Uh, this total is just uh, doing a sum to make sure that you're not going over. So if I would have accidentally put in 10% here, it would have flagged that for me. And so that's just a double check. Okay. So this is a uh, calculated distributed hours. So whatever you put in here, it takes the net hours from there. 5% of that is going to be what gets put in here. So all the way across, you get this tallying of your hours. And if you go down to the bottom, then you can start seeing um, you know how many total hours across the entire um, group of projects you spent during doing these different things and you can get your total hours as well so this is one way to to go about it and then the percentages here kind of show in the aggregate how much time um, was spent on on different parts of the project or different uh, process groups is really what it is that's about all there is to it. If you do have any questions, you can definitely contact me, um, pmstudent.com slash contact. And um, I hope this template helps.